players. Baby, and somebody that made off with more than a golden egg on Easter Sunday. Y'all tell me why some thieves done broke into a cash handling facility in California and stole $30 million. And the theft wasn't discovered until the next morning. So the thieves had a head start. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat. Let's get into the largest money heist in history. According to reports, officers of the goddamn law, also known as the FBI and the LAPD, are investigating one of the largest cash heists in the city's history after as much as $30 million was stolen from a San Fernando Valley money storage facility. So it happened at a cash storage facility in Selmar. Apparently, this uh, facility is operated by a private security firm called Guardia World. According to uh, the investigation, burglars gained access to the building and entered the vault without setting off the alarms um, through the roof. Investigators believe it was a sophisticated group based on their ability to evade detection. One area of focus for the investigation is whether the group had inside knowledge of the facility and they also said that the uh, heist was not discovered until Monday when the vault was open and that $30 million was gone, gone, gone. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. According to the LA Times, previously the largest cash heist in the city happened in September of 1997 when $18.9 million was stolen from the former site of Dunbar Armored Inc. Uh, those suspects were eventually caught. Of course, the media has reached out to the uh, security firm that is managing this facility. Uh, however, they did not return any comment. So the investigation has just begun on Monday for the LAPD and the thieves already had basically a 12 to a 24 hour start, depending on when they were able to get into that building. I'm going to say that it's likely an insider job. And if they were able to get that much of a head start, they might be in Bali right now or in Mexicali, Mexico or wherever. Uh, Cause honey, $30 million, shoot. You can live real good on $30 million. So I wonder how many people were involved and if it was, uh, if someone uh, working there was uh, involved. I Look, I put money on someone that's working there being involved. It's just too convenient that they was able to get in through that roof and then uh, exact location where the vault is, come on down, uh, be able to breach this breach this whole thing without setting off an alarm. Yeah, it's got to be an insider job. But hey, players, y'all know my opinion is not the only one that matters. I want to know yours. Do you think it was an insider job? How far away do you think that these have made it? And what do you think about this security firm uh, not having any security uh, in, in place when the vault is breached from the roof? I mean, I would be asking a lot of questions. That's a lot of money that's managed there. So, and they got a very big start. All right, players, put your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. This is Double D Mova reporting for the Black Street News.